Oh, as it stands now, 13 states have an unemployment rate higher than the national average of 10.2 percent, among them the state of Ohio. Its jobless rate was 10.5 percent as of October. Joining us right now to talk about what the state is doing to create jobs is Ohio Governor Ted Strickland. He's in Columbus, of course, the state's capital. Governor Strickland, great to have you here on Bloomberg. So what are you guys doing to create more jobs? What does the federal government need to do to help create the job situation? Well, f first of all, I'm thankful that we are beginning a national discussion about job creation. That's very important, and I uh, hope my colleagues and my friends in Washington, D.C., understand that there is nothing more important uh, to this country right now than job creation. Here in Ohio, we have passed our own stimulus bill of about uh, $1.57 billion investing in growth sectors of our economy. But as you noted, our unemployment rate is above the national average. Uh, it is continuing to be a, a lingering problem. And I believe we are not going to see a full or robust recovery until capital becomes available, especially to our small businesses. The small business sector uh, is the economic engine that I think will lead us out of this recession. But as I travel around Ohio, what I hear over and over from the business community is that they cannot get access to capital. If they get access to capital, they will invest, they will create jobs, they will innovate, and they will, I believe, lead us out of this recession. But let me ask you how you're doing that, Governor Strickland. I was in Ohio a couple of months ago uh, giving a speech there and talking to a a lot of people uh, at a couple of local banks who are saying we just can't get the money to lend out and even when we could we, we can't really uh, we can't really allow ourselves to lend money to the people who want it because their credit rating is not good enough. Well, but even people with good credit ratings and businesses with good credit ratings are having difficulty. And that's why I hope, as this conversation occurs in Washington regarding how to create jobs, there'll be a recognition that we must create an environment and a regulatory climate that will enable capital to be made available. Uh, I think there are mechanisms that can be uh, utilized to do that. Uh, and uh, I would like to see the federal government work in partnership with our banks, perhaps uh, as a, a backstop, so to speak, so that banks can have a, a greater level of freedom to make capital available to companies that, um, that will use it wisely and to create jobs. Obviously, there would have to be uh, restrictions placed upon such a program, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the banks, I believe, would be the final determiners as to what was uh, okay. an appropriate loan to be made, but the federal government, I believe could be the backstop that would give these banks the encouragement and the confidence that they could lend knowing that, uh, that Look, the federal government uh, would be the protector in case um, those, uh, those loans went into default. Let's talk about specific projects in Ohio. What is the uh, status of the high-speed passenger rail service that's uh, suggested to go from Cincinnati and through Columbus <laughs> to Cleveland here? A lot of people talking about this. Why not be more aggressive? I mean, we have the highest population density. Ohio does uh, in the country of any state that doesn't have such a passenger rail service. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. I, I am talking continuously with the administration. I've talked to President Barack Obama about it, Vice President Biden. I talk to Rahm Emanuel about it regularly. Um, the fact is that the, the population area from Cleveland down to Columbus over to Dayton and into Cincinnati is the most densely populated sector of our country without passenger rail service. We can institute passenger rail service that will um, uh, ac accommodate uh, millions of people, we can get it done within uh, a two-year period of time, uh, and we can do it with a modest amount of money because we will be using largely existing infrastructure. How much and is it going to cost, and how much can you get from Rahm Emanuel and the administration? Well, we are asking for about $550 million. If we get that amount, I can assure the administration that within two years, we will have uh, a system up and running that will, um, th that will accommodate uh, a large part of Ohio's population and will link us to the Ohio hub and other uh, other connectors throughout the eastern part of the United States. Uh, um, th 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 this is a good deal. Uh, it's a cost-effective plan and we are ready to go. All we need is uh, is the money and we can get this up and running within two years. All right. Hey, Governor, thank you so much for joining us. Ohio Governor Ted Strickland there.